Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial and in this video we'll be talking more about my design techniques that I apply almost all the time when I do my client project and hopefully this will be more beneficial for you guys to improve your design skills. So with that note, let's jump in the video. I always get a comment that how to make a PNG. So making a PNG is really simple. There are different ways to isolate your subject and the background. And if you are using the newer version of Photoshop, there is a really easy tool. It's called Select Subject. So for that, select the layer, go to Select, and go to the Subject. And that's easy. Go over here and click a layer max. And there are like some portion that you have to tweak by yourself. So go over here, go to Magic Wand tool, and let's select. Go to the layer max and let's fill the layer max with black color. So I did the same thing for this image and this image too. So I'll not repeat the same process again and again. Now let's create a new composition. So go to file, click on new. And I will go for 1080 over 1350 and resolution 300. Color bit 16, color mode RGB and let's click on create. After that, let's uh, drag and drop the images that we maxed out earlier. Let's drag this image first. Okay, let's keep it somewhere over here. Now let's go for this one. Let's drag and drop over here. Now let's go drag and drop over here. Now same thing, right click, uh, convert to smart object, right click. Convert to Smart Object and right click Convert to Smart Object. Alright, now let's do some adjustments. So select this layer, Control T, let's keep it in the center. Let's make it a little bigger. Alright, now let's go over to another layer, Control T. Let's do some rotation. Maybe let's keep it somewhere over here. Now let's go to the very last layer and Control T. Let's do some adjustment. Maybe somewhere around here. Let's select all this layer, Control T. Let's make them all a little smaller. And let's keep it somewhere over here. Alright, now let's go back to the very bottom layer. Create a layer max. Go to the brush and let's go for black color. And I don't want these parts. Now let's do some color adjustment so select the layer go to the filter go to the camera raw filter and let's go to the basic tab increase the shadows and increase the clarity increase the texture and go to the detail tab increase the noise reduction just a little bit and go to the color mixture and let's drop down the orange and let's drop down the reds too and for the blue let's increase the blue a little bit all right and let's do the same thing for the another layer select the layer go to the filter apply a camera raw filter and let's do kind of similar thing drop down the orange Drop down the yellow a little bit. Go to the very bottom layer. Create a new layer. Go to edit. Go to fill. And select 50% gray. Right click. Create clipping max. Change it to soft light. Let's do some dozen burn. So go over here. Add a burn tool. Let's add some burn and maybe increase our exposure a little bit and let's go to the dots and add a little dots in this fish do the same thing for this layer go over here create a new layer go to edit go to fill and go for 50% gray right click create clipping max change it to soft light and let's um, let's go for burn 
and let's add some brand select let's create a one more layer and go to brush and this time i will just go for a soft brush and let's make the color a little darker maybe like complete black and let's add a kind of shadow just to make some separation yep like over here and let's drop down the opacity and just a little touch maybe it's too much yep. now let's create a one more layer and same thing let's add a little bit and maybe over here too just to create a kind of separation now let's select all these layers make a group Control G now let's select the layer make a layer max go to brush and this time yep this is my the favorite brush the watercolor brush that I always use on my design so if you want to download the same brush check on the description list below and make sure the color is black and Do some rotation and let's get back some of those parts all right now let's move this layer a little bottom maybe somewhere over here all right now let's make a copy Control J and let's right click merge this group and right click convert it as a smart object select the layer go to filter and let's go for liquify and this is the tool that i always use when i have to make the abstract background so select this layer go over here and select on this icon drill keep on playing around and then let's keep it something like that let's click on ok let's keep it all the way to the bottom and let's change the color overlay yeah, I'll just keep it that for now but we can change it later anytime now let's add a solid color I'll just keep the solid as white for now and let's go over here add a color lookup and let's go for this one okay let's go for this one and let's add a color balance and let's increase the red yep maybe something like that and let's drop down the magenta yep somewhere over here you know like maybe let's change the color overlay to maybe some kind of similar color something like that i'll just go for this color for now let's click on ok now let's add some shapes and just adding few shapes can change the whole design look so let's go over here now let's add some shapes and just adding some shapes can change the whole design look now let's add some rectangles so go over here add a rectangle and let's make a copy alt and drag let's alt and drag let's make another copy and let's change the color to yep maybe something like that for another rectangles too so let's keep it some kind of similar color now let's go over here add some shapes so go over here i'll just go for this shape and let's add a shape and you know, like maybe let's change the color a little darker all right now control t let's make a rotation alt and drag control t let's make a rotation just to give some variation again control alt and drag let's make a rotation add a small control j 
control T let's make it a bigger and this time I will add a stroke and let's go for yep white two pixels and let's drop down the fill all right now let's make a copy control J control T let's keep it somewhere over here let's make it a way bigger maybe somewhere around here and let's change the stroke size a little bit yep something like that and let's make a, another copy control J control T and let's keep one over here and control J control T let's make it a little smaller let's make a rotation let's add some over here and again same thing control J and this time I will add a little fill to it and let's turn off the stroke and for the cover color overlay I will just go for a little darker color control T control T let's add some rotation let's add one over here control J make a copy this rotation yes yeah, I'm just rotating and just adding some and sometimes I would like to use some brush strokes too so let's go over here create a new layer go to brush and this time I will just go for a hard brush let's drop down the sides and let's keep it all the way to the top and let's increase the brush size and then let's draw some kind of strokes yep, maybe something like that now let's add some text go over here add a text and let's change the font color to maybe something like that Okay, control T let's make it a little smaller add a rotation let's keep one over here and let's add some text over here too all let's go over here let's change the color to complete white I will just go for complete white control T let's make it a bigger way bigger something like that let's move that text somewhere over here let's move it somewhere over here and let's change the color to yeah, something like that and let's make a copy control J and let's see yeah that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this video and see you guys in the next video